So my name is Miriam Gonzalez. Uh, I hope everybody hear me well. If I speak too fast, let me know because I mean I, I'm a Spanish speaker, but also in English I am bad with the speed. Okay. So I'm coming from Yuchika's community. Um, so I will explain you during uh, this talk uh, what we are doing, who we are, where are we located. So if you want to interrupt me, so I don't trust my memory anymore. So if you want to raise your hand, I'm fine. Don't worry for for the five minutes at the end. I'm, I'm fine if you want to ask any question in the meantime, okay? Okay, so, uh, okay. So this is my kind of avatar. So, <laughs> so I'm not sure what is worst, to have a talk after lunch or before lunch. So I know right now everybody's tired, everybody's hungry. So let's do this, this kind of tongue twister. So the person who can say this, at the first attempt, we'll have a shot of tequila from me, okay? So I need three volunteers. Okay, right there. Are you a Spanish speaker? Ah. You could be the, you could be the third one, hold on. Okay. Nema? Yeah, you have to speak that. You have to say that word. So I won't say it because I will be cheating. Okay, I need three volunteers. Okay, Martin. Now? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. Okay, next. <laughs> Nema. <laughs> Almost. You have you have 80. Okay. One more. Okay, right there. <laughs> Almost. So the Spanish speaker right here, okay. <laughs> yes. Yes, Popo Catepetl. So, but anyway, I mean, we have even nicknames for volcanoes. So, the nickname is Don Goyo. So, if you have a hard time saying Popo Catepetl, Don Goyo will be fine. People will understand you. Okay, so anyway, now that everybody, I hope, is awake, let's, let's move on to the real thing. Okay, so about eight years ago, back in uh, 2010, there was a, a survey in the one, there was an investigation to see how many women were involved creating data in, op, in OpenStreetMap. So at that time, uh, it was 3% of all the communities. So that's a very bad percentage. I mean, right now we have more than 4 million people uh, adding data to the map. But do you think this percentage has been increasing, decreasing? I mean, right now we don't have data of today, 2018, but it still is a worrying uh, percentage. So when we saw that, and I think that in America, where I'm from, I think maybe it's even worse. So there is one chat in uh, Telegram Latam, in the one, maybe there are like 200 people, and we see that only about, uh, that was two years ago, only like three, four women, we were active, saying things, saying about projects and mapathons. We we're thinking, damn, where are the rest of the women? So. Uh, you have seen this many times. I mean, probably when you are going to present something or you want to convince anybody about using OpenStreetMap, you have this comparison about your, your, from your fabric tools. In the one you see, of course, OSM, you see uh, Google Maps, you see here, and you see, I forgot the other one. So here, you always say, I mean, I, I, I say, okay, the companies have certain agendas, certain goals for maps, certain things. And the same with humans, I mean, Women are not mapping the same as men. So if we really have, if we really want to have a presentation, representation of what is the reality, we need to have more female presence in the maps creation. So that's the thing, okay? So then uh, we gathered these three women right here, Celine, Celine, and they said, I, mean, I should change my name because Miriam was not according to the names. So my real name for this group is Celine, but I mean, I'm Miriam. So we were the co-founders of this initiative in the one. Uh, we start in Sao Paulo two years ago in November with only like maybe 15 women in the Telegram chat. And now we are more than 160 women uh, participating in the conversation. So it has been really uh, a really good number for the last couple of years. So uh, what we are doing is trying to debate representation in certain uh, conference in certain events. So I'm, I'm sure you have, uh, who, who from here likes Formula One? Okay, right there, right there. Okay, of course also they have a big issue regarding gender balance, 
right there. But I, I, I choose this gift because, because of this. I mean, we were like thinking about gathering, thinking about doing certain things. And after two years, this has been a hell of a ride. I mean, we have been calling, I mean, to do so many things. And people it has been really getting this feeling about, OK, they feel listened, and they try to participate more and more. So what's the point of all this creation of this initiative is, I mean, we don't want to be separate of the OSM community. We want to be part of it. And we want to keep empowering more women to participate, more women leaders leading projects related to OSM, more women involving in tech, being uh, listening to what is happening in the open data, and vice versa. So we want to hear more and more of these things. I want to have more people, more women involved in what is happening. And uh, so there are certain projects, the ones we are doing right now. That was a project in uh, Nicaragua for being able to map all the onco oncology uh, clinics in the country. Uh, this project right here was uh, for mapping the, the women murdered in Nicaragua. That was even before the political issue that are facing right now. So that was, I think, one year ago. So probably these numbers have been increasing for the last two or three months. So, which hold on. Where was that? Nothing. Okay. So let me let me. So these projects, I will go detail uh, on each of them. So also last year we decided to do uh, because we didn't have actual data from 2018 or 17. We decided to do this gender survey in the one many people participate. I think more than 200 people. Sorry, uh, most of them actually were from US, uh, some of them Spain, uh, Latin America, some other countries. It was translated to six languages, so that was hard for getting the, the data all together. And uh, it's, it's really interesting to see the comments, the women comments, the male comments, and the general comments. So I, I won't go through details, you can check that online, we have it on our website. So one of the things uh, women don't participate that much in the discussion in OpenStreetMap is because of the sexist comments they feel, is because of the systematic target uh, discrimination they feel uh, on the channels. So uh, when we ask men these things, they, they believe that women don't participate in open street map discussions because they don't care and they don't like it, they don't like to map. That's one of the discussions we hear a lot. So also men think discrimination is not based on gender, it's kind of general. So this, I mean, you can read this if you want. I, I can present this later on a, a link and you can read it uh, uh, slowly. But there's a different perception in each of the, of the people. If you're a, a woman, you feel something. If you're a guy, you don't think that's relevant. So that's one of the things we want to like, make people to be more empathic about what's happening in the community. And in general, discrimination also feel by the people was, if you're a high level, superpower, gold, whatever mapper, versus the new mappers, they also feel that instead of leading to make these people better mappers, it's like, I mean, saying, I mean, you're a new mapper, so you know kind of nothing. That's kind of the feeling on, on, the, on the channel. So another project we did was uh, Las Calles de las Mujeres, the Street of Women. In the one uh, we are showing in all these cities, oh, let me show you one of them. So let's show you Mexico City. So in these cities, all the streets you see in green, green color have the name of a, of a guy. All the streets in yellow have the street, the street name of a lady. So this project was done together with Wikipedia. In the one, uh, we tried to link uh, all the streets with female names with the articles already in Wikipedia, so people know who these people is. So the worst uh, city that we have found so far is Buenos Aires. In the one, only 6% of the, of the names of the, of the streets, 6% are women. And the city who has uh, more female names is Havana, Cuba. In the one, they have 38% of the names of citizens are women. Uh, Mexico City, if I remember correctly, is like 11, 11 something. So, yeah, the worst six percent, the, the better one, like 30, 37, as I mentioned. So, it's something. Uh, this is not a PhD. This is not. It's something we want to show about how the history has been showing the place of women in history. I mean, something to think more about it. Which? 
Hold on one second. Okay, so also we participate in the 13th anniversary of OpenStreetMap to do some uh, mapping of informal settlements around Latin America. Different countries got together to do this uh, mapping. And uh, this is pretty new. Uh, we received a micro grant from HOT. Uh, I think Rebecca is around here, right here. So she helped a lot for getting this uh, project ongoing. In the one, uh, we are trying, as we mentioned, to empower new generations, new women. So uh, we gave some training to uh, young students from the State of Mexico University, Benny Carvajal and uh, some other people in the one. They went to Oaxaca. Oaxaca is a state, a really poor state, full of uh, culture and nice food, by the way, in the southern part of Mexico. And uh, it was hit pretty bad by the earthquake last year. So what we did here is we wanted to see a couple points. One, if there was any gender violence, uh, gender-based violence related uh, post-earthquake, that was one thing. And second thing, also we want to document uh, what is happening on the constructions on the street after one year uh, of the earthquake. So using uh, some cameras, uh, we upload uh, millions of images to Mapillary and Open Street Cam. In the one, people who's interested in certain areas, everything is your reference, so you can check certain street and also see the constructions. If the government say it's already rebuilt, you can check there. I mean, maybe it's already rebuilt, or maybe it's halfway, or maybe it's not. So you can check that. We are not doing anything, I mean, with uh, an investigation. It's right there. If some authorities want to check it, it's right there for them. So besides that also, uh, that's Betty right there. Uh, she was the one who got trained to be able to do these interviews. Uh, there were some interviews done to the communities. And this state has mainly uh, two indigenous groups. One is Mistecos and one is Zapotecos. And from back in the days, they already have a really strong structure for uh, local issues and legal issues. I mean, in parallel with the already the government, municipalities and these kind of things, so that uh, kind of union in the indigenous groups make the people to be very strong and very cooperative among each other and defending uh, women and defending the shelters about uh, co cooperating a lot between them. So, so far we have not seen like relevant uh, uh, evidence of gender balance uh, violence, uh, but I mean, we, 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 we wanted to see it by ourselves. We want to check by ourselves what was happening there. Okay. And something is that we, we think it will be keeping, um, keep empowering women in all these uh, kind of events, in all this special space, is education. Education, I mean, is something that sometimes, not in every country, not in every culture, is, is something available. So we are doing some webinars, especially in Spanish. In the one, we are trying to educate from zero to whatever I mean, level we can reach in the community. So the first webinar right there was introduction to OpenStreetMap. The second one, uh, Carto, the, the guys from Carto gave a webinar regarding Carto tools, and also the third webinar was Carto, but more intermediate uh, technical level. Uh, the fourth webinar, uh, it says the, as the technical aspects for making possible the project, the street of the women, right there. And the next uh, webinars will be uh, Mapbox, will be also another one from uh, uh, QGIS, and some other webinars that we are trying to give to women so they get trained and also they can improve their jobs, their lives, whatever they, we can. Okay, so as I mentioned, it has been such a fast ride I mean, for what we have been trying to collaborate with different things. So we were in National TV uh, about two months ago, presenting Yo Chicas. There is a 20-minute uh, interview with uh, TV UNAM. In the one, we explained a lot about what's happening. And after this, more media has been trying to get interviews and also understand better the project. Because I think uh, Google educate people about how to read how to get directions, but about the data behind the map, we are trying to also educate the media and the people about what's behind an uh, open map, like open street map. Uh, we're supporting other projects, such as uh, Crowd to Map in Tanzania. I had the chance to be in Tanzania uh, two months ago, and the one uh, I gave some training to the staffs in the safe houses, and the one uh, Nema is, is giving a talk tomorrow. 
So it was a really nice experience to be able to train some of the girls who are already in high school and also some of the staff to be able to use field papers and some other tools with the, with the devices, with the phones. And one thing we are doing, uh, this, this initiative starts in a bar, like, like many contracts, I will say, like they say in napkin contract, uh, in a bar in Sao Paulo. And we are trying to, in every event, we can attend at least one or two Yochigas to do something. So we started in Sao Paulo, as I mentioned, two years ago. Then we gathered in Lima one year after. Then uh, in Tanzania, we had the chance to do this uh, uh, icebreaker event before the main conference. So 30 women out of uh, more than 40 different countries and four different continents attend the Yuchikas event. So we had a great time. Uh, some of people, uh, Enema was there, Rebecca was there. It was really, wow. I mean, we didn't expect to have this audience. And then all these women were there. We did some games because you see at the beginning of the event how some people was really shy and tried to like kind of hide. And then some people was like really open. So we did an integration that at the end of the, this event, it was a perfect starting for the rest of the week events during the FOS4G in Tanzania. Uh, and this was last night. Thank you for the women who attended yesterday, your chicas event uh, in the real player one. It was a lot of fun, a bit noisy, but it was fun. <laughs> and thanks to all the sponsors that have been supporting all these projects. Uh, you can see there, OpenStreetCamp, Telenap, Mapbox, Mapillary, uh, Hot. Maps mean they have been really supportive in events, scholarships, uh, giving also money for doing different things. So thanks a lot for all of them. So I am uh, going to leave you here with uh, a couple comments. Uh, so I am also learning this journey. I mean, there are so many things I'm learning from other women because probably I think we have certain people who have certain opportunities and some other people who is facing challenges. So let's be more empathic be more empathic with them and I am suggesting to the guys that I also when they ask me how, how they can help because it's a, a women group so guys if you are in a panel in the one that is only four guys say no say no say that you need gender balance in a panel if you are see that there is one event in the one you see like 90 percent guys and 10 percent 10 percent women say what is happening here what are the rest of the women so I think also you have to be advocates. You have to be also raise your hand. And sometimes I know it's not easy, but I mean, it's a, it's a job that we have to do all together. So thanks a lot for your time. Uh, this, these are my details right there. If you need me, I am around uh, until Sunday. Thank you. <laughs> Any questions? We have five minutes for questions if you want. Otherwise, I'll let you go to have lunch. No questions. Oh, right there. Okay. I don't hear you. The male versus female what? Uh, from uh, uh, because I mean, let's see. Uh, there was a, like a query in the one. All the names were pulled. I mean, it was kind of easy actually. We, we, yeah, they were pulled. And then if we with this query check that Wikipedia has an article regarding uh, these people, we we will like link it. Yeah, yeah. It was not that hard. Yeah. If you want to see the technical details, I mean, are right there. Yeah. Any further questions? Okay, all right, thank you.